Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach and today we're looking at the fourth free response question in the AP Calculus 2003 AB free, um, AP exam. So let f be a function defined on the closed interval, negative 3 to 4 with the graph. Uh, okay, f of 0 is equal to 3. The graph f prime, the derivative of f, consists of one line segment in a semicircle. On what intervals of any is f increasing? f increases when f prime is greater than 0. That's just a general fact. If the slopes are positive, it's increasing. That f prime is greater than 0 when it's above the, 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 um, the x-axis here. So that is on negative 3 to 2. Um, you can definitely make that closed, I guess. In addition, that's it. That's the only interval. Other, everywhere else it's negative. It's decreasing. Okay, so that's that one. Find the x-coordinate of each point of inflection on the graph of f on the open interval, negative 3, and justify your answer. Okay, what is a point of inflection? Point of inflection was f double prime is equal to 0 and changes signs. In this case, f double prime are slopes of f prime because it's the derivative of f prime. So the interpretation of f double prime on this problem is that is that we're looking at the slopes of f prime. Okay, so down here the f double prime is zero. This is zero or or undefined. At this point, f pro double prime is undefined. Here the slopes are positive, so at this interval f double prime is greater than zero. Here we hit um, zero slope, right here, f double prime equals zero. And then here the slopes are negative, so that means f double prime of zeros. Okay, so uh, where did it change signs? It changed signs at zero and negative two. So points of inflections are at x equals zero and negative two. Find an equation for the line tangent to the graph of f at point 0, 0,3. So in general, when you want to do um, any tangent line, I always write this. y minus y naught equals m x minus x naught. This is point slope form. Now in this case, I already know my point that I'm at. That's equal to mx. Um, I just need to know what m is. m is equal to f prime at x equals 0. What's f prime at x equals 0? f prime is just this graph. So f prime, that's negative 2. Because at x equals 0, f prime is negative 2. So then I have y minus 3 is equal to negative 2x, or y is equal to negative 2x plus 3. You could leave it in this form or this form. It doesn't matter. Find f of negative 3 and f of 4 and show the work that leads to your answers. Well, f of negative 3... Um, well, I know that in general, f of x has to be the integral of f prime of t dt. You know, just use a placeholder variable. And I could say from 0 to x and then plus f of 0. Like, this is a standard way you could write this. Because I was given f of 0, so you can write it like that. This, this 0 has to just match this bottom one here. So I'm going to write this as 0 to negative 3 f prime of t dt plus f of 0, which is 3. Now this portion is the integral. It's the area under this curve from 0 to negative 3. Okay, so I need to compute these areas. Now if I was going negative 3 to 0, I would make this positive area. So let's find this area. This area uh, is a triangle, so it's 1 times uh, 1 divided by 2. So the area of this is 0.5. The area of this triangle is 2 times 2, 4 divided by 2. So this area is 2. Okay. So if I were going left to right, I would do 0.5 minus 2. But because I'm going from 0 to negative 3, I have to switch the side. So this is really positive area in that sense, and this is negative area. So do 2 minus 0.5, that's equal to 1.5. Okay. And then if I want to do f of 4, I do the same thing. I'm going to integrate the area from 0 all the way to 4 out here. I want to find this area. It's all negative area. And then I'm going to add that to um, uh, 3. Oh, did I do plus 3? Oh, I, no, no, no. I did the area. Oh, 2 minus 0.5 is 1.5. 1 1.5 1 plus 3 is 4.5. Caught myself there. Okay, this area, 
you have to think of this as there's a rectangle and then there's a circle. So the rectangle area is two by four, that's eight. And the semicircle area is, um, well, if it was a whole circle, it would be pi r squared. So this half a circle, half of pi r squared. What's the radius of this circle? It looks like it's two. So one half pi, two squared. That's four, four divided by two, that's two pi. Okay, so this gray area is eight minus two pi is the area here. But this is negative area, so I gotta do negative. So this is gonna be negative eight minus two pi plus three. So that's negative eight plus three, that's negative five. Negative minus that is plus two pi. Neg those negatives cancel. Okay, so let's take a look at the solutions here. Um, is increasing from negative three to negative two since f prime. Technically, this should be a an open interval. I don't think they'll dock you for it. It's technically an open interval though, so because um, it's not equal to negative two. Because right at that point, it's actually zero. But we said we got the right thing. Negative th negative three to negative two. That's what we said, right? Negative three, I don't know why I didn't say negative, it was negative two. Wait, negative three to, yeah, this is a negative two. So that's my, my bad, I just, I don't know why I didn't write it correctly. I pointed it out if you were to rewatch that portion I was pointing to it. Uh, okay, that's fine. Um, change to increasing at equals zero and two. That's what we got, zero and two, uh, yep. And tangent lens y equal negative two x plus three, that's correct. We got, um, what did we get for our answers? Minus 1.5, 4.5, nine halves is 4.5. And then this one we got negative five plus two five. Okay, cool. So hope you found that helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.